everybody. (laughs) (laughs) I'm really stressed out. Um, (laughs) This uh, welcome to uh, Plan Obsolescence. It is the finale of this mask game, and we fucked up. I would like to point out very briefly that Katie said obsolescence correctly without even like pausing. Oh, it just took it just took like seven weeks. I'm so time. proud. <laughs> okay, well, um, let's just do intros because the sooner this is over, the sooner I can face what I've done. <laughs> what you've done? You're not the one who needs to face that. It's true. Um. I'm Katie. I use she, her pronouns. I play the doomed Veronica, who also uses she, her pronouns. And it fucked up! Um, Emily, what about you? Um, hi, I'm Em. Uh, I use she, her pronouns, and I play the bull, uh, Evie, who also uses uh, she, her pronouns. And we definitely fucked up. <laughs> and I forgot about it. <laughs> oh, um... So. <laughs> Dingo. I'm Dingo. I use she, her pronouns. And I play Animus, the transformed, who fucked up and uses he, him pronouns. <laughs> Animus, who has fucked up. <laughs> Rachel. Hi, everyone. I'm Rachel. I use she, her pronouns today. I am playing Ada, um, the beacon, who uses she, they pronouns, and I fucked up too. (laughs) (laughs) I I, had such a good trend. (laughs) What about you? Oh, was it my turn? Uh, Levi. Oh, okay, sorry. Hello, I'm Levi Phipps. I play Tommy Cuban slash Kestrel, the protege, Ian for both of us, and we failed to prevent the fucking up. <laughs> Good job! <laughs> the only one who can save us from our fuck ups. <laughs> um, and last but not least, Dave, over to you. Hi, I'm Dave. I use he, him pronouns, and I'm in charge of setting them up to fuck up. Uh, <laughs> so. We're having a good time, and I think we open up with the first pages is a summary of what happened in the last issue. And this time, I believe the narrator is Ada. Loving this. Definitely prepared. I guess we all have to live with the choices that we make. Um, Veronica and I, when she got the text from St. Clair, we made the choice to go right away. And everyone else made the choice to stay. And that seemed like the right thing to do at the time. The villains began to escape from the prison and right off it seemed that everyone was going to be able to hold it off pretty well. Um, but that turned out not to be the case. Meanwhile, me and Veronica were off meeting St. Clair and he was able to, well, he believed us, which was nice for once. Took a lot of nerve to not just punch him out right there, but, you know, the mission was more important than that. He started to lead us away to whatever secret hideout he was pulled up in and at the same time the battle is raging on down at the prison and there were two villains who came out and mistakes were made I guess if you could call it a mistake but When Animus was trapped by one of the villains, Animus retaliated and that villain died as a result. But we didn't know this, me and Veronica, we were trapped away in the dark alleys of the lower parts of the city in this unfamiliar building. 
we didn't know what was going on. And we tried to let them know that we were okay, but we didn't get a response from them. And then we realized that Sinclair was planning another broadcast. And he asked me, Ada, to join him. And I said yes, because um, I didn't want to ruin our plan. That didn't matter. Because back at the prison, everything was falling apart. Animus couldn't fight. Animus shut down. And even our strongest fighters, Evie and Todd, couldn't keep up with the overwhelming wave of villains. And it was too much for them. Meanwhile, on the broadcast, we learned that the escape from the prison was a facade. It was a trick. And the whole plan all along had been Prospero breaking Caliban out of the secret place where he had been arrested and kept after we fought him. And all of the fighting at the spike was for nothing. And even though the villains came, <laughs> the heroes came and stopped it, or at least put an end to the worst of it, um, nothing mattered because now everything is <laughs> absolutely fucked up. Did I miss anything? <laughs> okay, good. I'm thinking about summed up how much we fucked up. So, <laughs> yep. And I think that we, I think uh, there was one little bit at the end uh, with Veronica taking advantage of the burner phone that she had. Um, yeah, I, uh, I messaged Agent McCallan and Jay. I told McCallan that the heroes were alone at the prison. And I told Jay that I needed help. I think, I think that's the crux of what I said. Yeah. I think we're going to open up with the scene right back here uh, in the studio. The broadcast is wrapping up and you see the on-air light go to dark. I have deleted any evidence of those text messages, by the way. <laughs> Okay. <laughs> just, want to, just want to put that out there. <laughs> um, I think Veronica is waiting outside, like the the studio door for for uh, Sinclair and Ada to come out. Uh, I think Sinclair steps out after a brief moment, and I presume Ada is with him. Yeah, I follow, and I'm just like sheet white like all color is gone from my face um look, i look awful what the fuck sinclair i mean we were just in the other room on air it's what your friends are at that prison woefully unprepared they're going to die i don't we were a team once. I didn't know. I told you. You couldn't I have changed it. I couldn't have. No, you could have done something, Sinclair. For someone who always has a plan, who always wants to do something, you could have done something. What do you think I could have done? Everything was happening by the time you met me. You could have helped. What do you mean? What do I mean? The prison break was already in full swing by the time that I even met up with you. You know, the people you want to help, Sinclair, it's those people too. Evie and Todd and Animus, they're stuck there 
What good is your fucking help? They're, they're not like other heroes. They're, they're just trying to help. And Ada, we need to go. Yeah. Yeah, we need to go. Um, I think uh, as you say that, like, he sort of like steps back and leans his back against the wall and his head just thunks against the side of the wall and he sort of is just staring at the ceiling. Good job, Sinclair. Great. Shit. Uh, she grabs uh, Ada's hand and uh, I'm going to mark a doom track to uh, create a portal to go back to the group. Okay. I think you appear there uh, in this prison scene. There's about a half a dozen to a dozen unconscious villains on the ground around. Uh, more than a dozen heroes are nearby. Significant amount of Ada's family is here, actually. <laughs> yeah. And she's not wearing her costume. Um, and uh, Red Tail, we see him uh, pointing, and a couple of guards are leading a handcuffed prisoner away. The blackout seems to have gone, and Red Tail turns and looks at this seven foot tall neck uh, collapsed on the ground curled up I believe yeah when Veronica like sees the scene when they you know walk out she sort of looks over and the minute her eyes zoom in on Animus she's running over to him just like grabbing his face Animus Animus are, Animus are you with me Animus Floyd yeah there's no lights there's no response there's <clears throat> nothing Animus please Someone, what ha what happened here? What's going on? He needs help, somebody, please. Sorry, I'm eating. <laughs> it, I, I probably go to Ada. It went um, it went further sideways than than we. Is Animus okay? Did he get damaged? Uh, it's not getting damaged that is the problem. It's. I don't. Can you just tell me what I happened. Don't know. He, he went Terminator. I guess I don't know. I haven't, I haven't, I haven't seen anything like that before. Seen anything like what? And Red he, Tail, uh, <clears throat> standing nearby, keeping an eye on the scene, just bluntly says, "Animus killed Pearl." Do that. The thing <laughs> that. That's not animus. The thing that, the thing that took his body, that, that wasn't animus. That, I don't know what it was, but it wasn't my friend. Okay, Either bro. way, Go it's ahead. the body that did it. It's the body that we can keep locked up. Veronica's still like, kneel down beside animus, shaking him crying trying to get him to wake back up he's he might be he might be part robot but he's he's just a, a kid like the rest of us you, you can't you can't treat him like he's some kind of machine that needs to be decommissioned i'm not if machines get decommissioned they get taken apart if people kill others we put them away in a jail 
that's what I'm saying we should do. What are you going to keep in a, a jail cell? If he's passed out like this, then, like, what's the point? You can't, like, put him on trial or something. Like, you can't do anything with him. I know that you have to, like, be just, uh, serve justice or whatever, but you don't do it half the time, so why don't you just <laughs> let this go? I mean, it was a villain. Okay, so it's okay as long as the other person is bad. Yeah. No, it's not. <laughs> e Evie. Stop. I, I don't... And, like, this whole time he's been kind of, like, pretty much shut down himself, refusing to look at anyone. We, we can't convince him. We just... We need to find out what happened um, when he wakes up. If you you if all just up. hear very loudly, Veronica say, "I'm not letting you take him," and I'm portaling out of there again with with him. That's what Ada was going to go over and suggest to Veronica. So, <laughs> okay, Mark with the track. Yep. Um. Bye, losers. <laughs> Uh, I think Redtail's eyes snap to you, Todd. I try to relay as best I can the situation and describe it as something taking over his body that he wasn't in control. We need to figure out what that was. And eliminate that. Hopefully that'll be... What? You know what we need to do that? We need animus if we're going to have any chance of even doing that. We have yep. bigger problems right now. <sighs> have you heard? Heard what? Prospero broke so Caliban cool. out. Are you the kid of... Uh... Resistor? That's that's not important right now. What's important <laughs> is that there's a villain who is out on the loose, rampant with his old villain crew. Yeah, there are plenty of villains out on the loose. A jailbreak happened. This is this is Caliban we're talking about. Caliban back with Prospero. He wasn't even here. He was somewhere else. This was a distraction. Shit. That's why we had to come back. Back from where? This is, everything is, is worse now. Uh, Are you going to do something about it? What am I need... supposed to do? I I don't know. You're a billionaire. You've got to... cameras all over the city. You've got technology that can track people. Can't you do anything? I can. I can't do it right now. We need to... It'll take some time. We need to, we need to get teams together, get everyone here, organize them. They start no. like, kind of mumbling and mumbling. No, Kestrel, you're not part of this. You couldn't take care of the team that you're with and a person died he, because he of- He was, there are three kids here. You guys were nowhere to be found. This is something that you have to be responsible for. This is your whole life and livelihood is, is stopping villains and you can't even be aware that a breakout is going to happen. And it's up to the responsibility of five kids to take care of it. No, no. wonder somebody died. We, we're not, it's not our responsibility to take on something of this magnitude. No one said it was your responsibility. Well, you it had to be because you weren't there. No one was there. 
doesn't even matter. I'm going to take care of this. Kestrel, find a new team. And he walks away. Tide just almost as if as if he was dropped. Like he drops to his knees, like hands on the ground, and you just see his shoulders shake. Uh, Are you gonna go with him? I have to. I I can only do I do because of him? I. Ty, him... you're a way better leader than that dude was. For real. If he is a whole adult and he couldn't deal with this, and he's mad at you, a kid, that you couldn't deal with it, you shouldn't be so mad about it or mad at yourself. Todd, like... listen. <laughs> I don't have powers that I don't have anyone helping me out. If I can do it, you can do it. Exactly. What I'm she not, said. Fuck him. I'm not you, Ada. Yeah. You're you're driven as hell. I've seen you do things uh, without his stuff. I'm just some kid with a keyboard. And even that, I can't even do that well. If that's what you think, then go with him. That's what you really think. But... I think you're just saying that because you're afraid. Oh my god. Maybe I am. <laughs> Maybe I will. Ada? I'm trying, I think, do I, I have influence over Todd. Yeah. And I'm trying to see what, what can I use with that, but I don't have the... You can use it uh, to do <coughs> plus one on a move targeting. It is one of the numerous things you can uh, take advantage of your influence to do as well as including the plus one just from having influence over them. I think this is weird, but I'm actually like trying to comfort or support him <laughs> in a weird way, no, in, a, in a very Ada way. That is one of the things the game specifically mentions. You can comfort and support people with harsh words if you think that's what they need to hear. Okay, so I'm going to roll mundane plus one. A hit. An eight. Hooray. Um, it says on a hit, they mark potential, clear conditions, or shift labels if they open up to you. Um, I don't know what I want to do. Um, I'm going to mark potential. Oh. Yeah, yeah, you're right. You, um, I don't actually know what I'm going to do. Tide probably like stands up and says, hmm, I think he just stands and stays with his team. There are other predatory birds. And just red tail hawks and kestrels. Just nods quietly. Yeah. All right. Well, the adults aren't going to do it. I guess we got to go kick ass, right? <laughs> so, you even know where Calabat is or where Prospero took him. Don't y'all have something like, I mean, I'm not a whiz with the computer, but can't you find out somehow? I mean, she's just like really like, she wants to punch someone. Yeah. Like she really just wants to punch someone and she's not going to punch either of you guys. <laughs> right. uh, we, we would have to, we have to go back to my base or something, but. We could definitely do that. Okay. If they're not going to do it, then we okay. might as well. Better go fast before Red Tail decides to change the locks on us. Yeah. So let's go, go. Let's go. 
now. <laughs> Veronica. Where did you go What's to? Up? Um, <clears throat> I, uh, I portaled right into Jay's living room. I think, uh, you appear in his living room and, uh, you see him wearing a, he has a zipped up, like, jean jacket on, uh, uh, almost completely zipped up like he's heading for the door at this point in time and out of the uh, like the little bit that's unzipped you see an outcropping of red fabric um, Veronica is still very like <clears throat> harried and crying and um, I, I don't even think she pays attention to it she just stands up and rushes over to Jay's. You, you fixed him before, please. Can you just help me? I don't know what happened. He's not responding, Jay. What happened? I don't know. I don't... I don't know what happened. Apparently he killed someone. Wait. Really? Animus? There's a... That's not possible. Prospero's freeing... Caliban. They they planned a big breakout at the jail to distract everyone. I don't know what happened. I wasn't there. I should have been there, but I wasn't. It's okay. I mean, you can't stop everything bad that happens, right? Let's see what's going on with Animus and I think he leans down and is looking into Animus's eyes and poking around and stuff. Yeah, I think Animus, um, <clears throat> just as he's poking around, like, <clears throat> there's probably, like, a printout summary that comes out of like the last few commands and he would see that the last command was an emergency shutdown protocol. We can try to reboot him, but. Do anything you have to do. I don't, I'll help any way I can. I, I can't, I, I can't see him like this. Yeah. I mean, of course, I'll do anything I can to help. Uh, grab that cable over there. Yeah, Veronica does. She follows any step that Jay gives her. I think um, uh, we see Jay opening up a computer program and accessing um, Animus and sending a reboot command to Animus. Yeah, you hear everything kind of whir and start back up and the lights blink in various ways um, <clears throat> before his eyes sort of come on and he goes, Animus is here to help. Yeah, Veronica just like surges forward and wraps her arms around his neck. I am so glad you're all right. Is everyone... Is everyone else all right? Yeah. Where are they're, my friends? They're, they're fine. They're fine, Animus. Um, I, I, I had to get you out of there. You weren't doing too well. Jay helped bring you back. Yeah, I think you can sort of, you can almost see like the math around his head and the words going. And he stops and he goes, why did you reboot me? You shut down. Emergency protocol. Um, she, uh, I think she grabs for the, like the um, piece of paper that had printed out with all the 
what you know, the the steps that have been taken and hands it to Animus because she she assumes he'll understand it better. Yeah, I think he he reaches out and he snatches it and he crumples it up. I hurt someone. That that doesn't it doesn't matter, Animus. <clears throat> He was a bad person. All life is precious. I'm not meant to hurt anybody. You were... You were defending your friends. Jay, I think he turns very suddenly. Yeah. Yeah. Can you initiate the shutdown again? No. What? What? No, Animus. If I'm hurting people, that's what I'm supposed to do. Animus, you... You saved your friends. You were trying to defend them. You can't help what happened. You did the right thing. I can't save people and end them. I can't save lives and end lives. What we are, what we do, there are always going to be casualties. Not with our own hands. The person you killed did a lot of bad with their hands. And what gave me the right to stop, to end their life? Because they were going to end the lives of people you care about. I'm not an executioner. You're a protector. I'm not that either. Not anymore. You've always been my protector, Animus. You always will be. And what if I can't do that either? Shutting down isn't a way to solve a problem. It keeps them safe. It keeps you safe from me. No, I've never, ever been threatened by you. I'm more safe when you are, when you're here, when you're So here. that justifies what I did then, just because you feel safe. How is the public supposed to feel safe? How am I supposed to feel safe in my own body? If you shut down Animus, I don't have anything else. You're not a killer. You're not a bad guy. You were protecting the people you care about. If you kill someone, You are a killer. I looked it up. I just... Fine. I won't shut down. But Animus must be contained. I can't help you if I can't keep control of my programming, of myself.
I just... Animus, you're allowed to make mistakes. At the cost of someone's life? That's what I don't understand. Veronica, it's very human to make mistakes. But I'm supposed to be more than human. I'm supposed to be supposed to help. No one's mistakes should cost lives. Even humans are held by the same standard. What you Why did, shouldn't I be? What you did saved your friends. I wish that was enough for you. There was another way. You don't know that. The probability of us still coming out okay I didn't kill them to protect my friends. I know that. And that's, that's the worst part. Redtail wants to lock you away. Good. I shall contact Redtail. So you're just going to let him take you from me? Fine. You do what you want, Animus. Be a human. What and do I'm you... portaling out of there again. Damn it! <laughs> also, that's five Doom tracks, so I'm going to take another one. <laughs> so, um, before we go on, I am curious where you're portaling. Um, I'm portaling back to where um, Sinclair was, to that, that, uh, that, that area that place okay yeah um okay yeah that that's where she's going um whether he's there or not she doesn't know but that that's the area she's going to he is he's sort of just sitting in the room this time back against the wall uh he's sitting on the ground knees up in front of him. <clears throat> she goes over to him and uh, I think she just sits beside him and puts her head on her on his shoulder and she just says, I really hate you. Me too. You're going to bring a lot of bad to this city. I hope you know that. Do you think there's any way that, I don't know, can at least make it up to the, to you and the others? No, In Sinclair. But you can probably help this city for once. Actually help it. We're going to need your help. So, what do you want? What do you need? <sighs> 
come back to base with me. You mean the old base? Yeah. And fix your problem, Sinclair. It's... I, I need to, you can see he's like caught in this indecision between what he has said he'd do here and what he wants to do to rectify things. And mm-hmm. I think, um, let's see. I think I want you to I think you have influence over him now is what's happened mechanically okay um yeah that's fine yeah I I was gonna do something but no yeah, I think she stands up and offers her hand to him. We need to go now. Now? Yeah, we can't wait. I think he stands up and puts his hand on yours. I'm going to portal to the, uh, use that portal a lot tonight. <clears throat> portal to the, the, uh, our, our base, uh, you know, the, where Kestrel is and everything. Okay. I think we see you portal away and then just this shot of this still room. And then I think that's where we're going to take our first break. Cool, 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 cool. <laughs> that's great. Amazing. Love this. So this much has happened and everything hurts. <laughs> yeah, you just had to portal away, didn't you? You should have seen. Honestly, you should have seen it coming from like a mile I away. <laughs> I know. Portal away from problems. I would too. <laughs> That's how I handle my problems in real life and in games. <laughs> Just run. Okay, folks, we'll be right back in about uh, five to ten, ten minutes. Hang out. Get ready for some more heart. <laughs>
innocent smile off your face, David. He has to push it up because, you know, like in the. You know what you've done. Like a huge, so I'm just going to cut it out right there. Yeah, just, just cut it out or Katie will yell. I will. I will yell. Anyway, um, yeah. Dave, take it away. Hurt us, David. So. Let's jump back really quick to Animus. What are you up to? I guess I'm sitting in Jay's living room. Yeah. Uh, And I think, um, yeah, I ping both uh, Redtail and Mercy with my location. But otherwise, yeah, I think he's just kind of sitting and waiting and looking at Jay. You, I would say you okay, but I think we both know that's not true. Affirmative. You sure about this? Calculating. I am 100% sure. Because there's no changing your mind then. No. Though I do wish Veronica understood. Look. Honestly, (sighs) take something out of you, you know. I do now. Yeah, it. It'll sound cheesy, but actually it won't because I wish I could say it, but it doesn't really get easier. That's very comforting. Thank you, Jay. I'm sorry. I know it's not, but I mean, I like to at least think that I know you a little. I suppose you might know me better than I know myself. I've just lived life. Don't get all these wrinkles for nothing. Do you think she'll always be mad at me? Veronica? I don't think she'll be mad at you forever. She'll be upset for a really long time. I don't know how long it'll take her to get over it, but She's a tough kid. She is. The whole team is tough and good. What about you? He sort of cocks his head to the side. What about me? Are you tough? I am physically strong. I mean, I guess that's part of it. Are you good? That is still to be determined. 
I want to be. And to do that, I need to be held accountable for my actions. And if I cannot be good, I must take steps to ensure that everyone is protected. And you think that you can't make sure others are protected unless you're locked up? Well, yes, there must be consequences. There are for everybody and what other option is there? if I am not safe. Well, change? Look, I'm gonna level with you. He sort of just sits down cross-legged on the floor in front of where you're sitting and he zips down his jean jacket and you see a red costume on underneath. I don't know how well versed you are in stuff, but I used to be the firebird. I was oftentimes one of the people on the front page with my bouts with red tail. And I did some shit. It's been a long time. But the things I did back then haunt me. And I've lived trying to not let those mistakes define me. And admittedly, I'm not one who's so bold on paying penance. But I mean, I help out Veronica from time to time, see what I can do around the neighborhood, and I don't know. You Maybe change. Doesn't always feel like it, but on my good days, I like to think I did. And that took time. Yes? It took effort. It's something that I quit one day. I, I don't know what made the realization come to me, but I just <clears throat> realized I had to stop and I don't know, some things like that are they're habits that you build, but they're not unbreakable. They're decisions you make. And I don't know what decisions ran through your head back then, but maybe it's one so you can just try to avoid and if you're going to be paying penance maybe it's only fair that I do too if that is what you feel is right I don't know. Jay, I'm not totally blind to the concept of change. I know it takes time and effort, 
and it cannot happen. Simply <laughs> with the flip of a switch, though my body may suggest otherwise. Adjustments need to be made and I cannot do them entirely on my own. And I, I cannot be a hero if I cannot be held accountable to the same rules as everyone else. I am not above our rules and our laws. And I hope that I can change. Then don't just sit and hope it happens. Do something to try to make it happen. Change doesn't happen just because you call some person, tell them to put you in a hole. Change happens because you push for it yourself. And I think that's probably true even if you are a bit different from me. I don't know. You're more human than you think. And he's trying to shift your mundane up and you're freaked down. What do I do to resist that? You can, well, you would roll just to reject someone's influences. So straight 2d6. On a success, you hold true to yourself and tune them out uh, with some certain actions. And then to miss their words that you hard mark your condition and the GM will adjust your labels. Okay. Yeah. You can clear condition or mark potential by immediately acting to prove them wrong. Shift lab one label up and one label down your choice. Or cancel their influence and take a plus one forward against them. I'm sorry, can you say those again, but a bit louder? You can clear condition or mark potential by immediately acting to prove them wrong. You can shift one label up and one label down, your choice. Or you can cancel their influence and take a plus one against them. Um, I think <clears throat> Animus... Um... I think out of his little printer, um, this code starts printing out and it's very long and it starts curling and um, it extends towards Jay. He goes, I may have human parts, But there is something wrong in my code. The problem is not. I am an imperfect machine. There's. You can see it. I have record of the moment. It's something you can see and look at and hopefully change. This is who I am now. I can't go back to being human. Yeah. 
but I won't just sit around. Thank you. No problem, I guess. I just need to take care of something while I'm while we're waiting for them to show up. Okay. Understood. I think he walks over to the desk and takes out a sheet of paper, sets it on the desk and fumbles around his pockets for a pen and signs it, folds it up, puts it in an envelope, walks out of the room for a few minutes and then walks back in. Is it appropriate to ask what you are doing? If I'm gonna be going with you, can't leave this place to just the government. They'll kick Veronica out. It's hers now. If Animus could smile, he'd be smiling. She deserves it. I'll stick with you as long as I can. Even after we're taken in. Thank you. And then I think we flip the page and it's the grandiose halls of the base in stark contrast to the small apartment that we left in. I don't know how much time we have because um, on the broadcast, and Ada is telling this to the two, I'm guessing as we're like walking down the hall to where, where yeah. the computers are. Um, well, the Sinclair had me on with him. Um, so I don't know what that makes me, but <clears throat> I, I guess I'm, uh, I don't know. <laughs> I don't know how long I have before consequences start to happen. Just a day full of consequences, isn't it? And then- uh, When you walk into the main hall and see Veronica and Helios. Yeah, so Veronica's standing in front of Helios. <laughs> and she immediately puts her hands up. He's gonna help. How was Animus? He's fine. That's that's good. Good. Now, Veronica. Had if, checks. I'm sorry. <laughs> there is there is Pierce the mask. Yeah. You can. Uh, I'm, I'm just mask. asking. How likely is it that I'm like able to see that you're stout and bullshit? <laughs> I mean, <laughs> she's not not hiding it. <laughs> Yeah, I don't need to, to uh, do that. If, if, no matter how obvious it, it is, Todd doesn't, Todd doesn't notice, it says, Veronica, I, I'm glad it's okay. Now I just need to do something. Then he, like, places a shoulder, places his, his left hand on, on her left shoulder, and then, like, uh, tries to, like, gently move her aside. <laughs> yeah. I know. Um, I'm going to talk to Ada and Evie. We need a plan. <clears throat> he just nods. They do something they want to do. Specify the movies, but I means it. Just gonna punch him in the face. Yeah. Uh, he staggers I, backwards yeah. a few steps and. Uh, yeah, that's that's I, fair. I, 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 you. They turns back around to everyone else. All right, what's the plan? 
Veronica's not... just got her thumb up. <laughs> Glad it was you, not me. Yeah, I was like ready to yeah. stomp up and punch him in the face. Um, so a plan. We need to figure out where Caliban and Prospero are. She right? looked straight at Helios. It's like anything you know. Helios, can you be useful for once and tell us <laughs> where he is? <laughs> Evie chill. That's me laughing. Don't tell me to chill. You just punched him in the face, Todd. Veronica's <laughs> cackling. This is the uh, happiest she's been all day. This is... <laughs> oh, it's so good. Eva's, Eva's smiling a bit. But she's still not in a good place, and probably. Veronica yeah. looks at Helios and Helios goes, Welcome back to the team. <laughs> yeah. Feels welcome. Well, you made your bed, it's time to lie in it. He, try, he uh, tries to give, like, something resembling a sympathetic look. But, uh, it, it just says, anything you, that you know about his plan, save us a lot of work. All I know is that we were in charge of setting up the rescue operation uh, or fraying operation, or whatever you want to call it, uh, down in the warehouse sector at the safe house he was being confined in. Yeah, Other than that, I don't know. I don't know where Prospero is. All I do is get broadcasts. And you have no idea what he's planning okay. to do. Honestly, no. I, I'm not sure. Let's... Just a face. I get it. And then he's gonna go to the computer to do his work. Okay. We can go to the safe house. Maybe he's still nearby. The heroes would have swarmed there by now. They would have gotten Caliban out. You can check the cameras. I'm sure there are some. We had some for the video feed that we yeah. had. Yeah, like uh, Todd's work is uh, checking the cameras for the past few hours and trying to essentially follow any kind of entourage from camera to camera in order to at least like, narrow their path down. Okay. Um... I think the first bit, uh, what you see is you're able to pull up the camera of the area. And is everyone like looking at the screen that you're pulling up and stuff? Or I don't know. Yeah, probably. Yeah, Veronica would be. I don't know what else to do. Um, you the, pull up. Oh, go ahead. Okay, here's my question. So we gave our phones to. Um, Helios earlier. Has he given them back? Not yet. Okay. Then never mind. <laughs> or maybe I go up and I punch him on the shoulder and I hold out my hand for my phone. Oh, uh, sorry. <sighs> Reaches into his pocket and puts it in your hand. I'm going to turn it back on. Okay. Um, as your phone is booting up, you see... The screen lights up with the pictures of, um, or the current camera feed of the uh, warehouse. And let's see, you see the ground around it is like scarred, almost like uh, there are gouges cut into it. And mm -hmm. there are a couple of um, bodies lying unconscious at the scene and Ada mm -hmm. you recognize that this is far more destroyed than when uh, the original video of Caliban setting being set free was and that some of those bodies lying on the ground are dressed in the same attire that um, the people freeing 
Caliban were. Something's wrong here. What do you mean? What do you? Oh, Those, the the feed. It's different. Oh, shit. All I know is that they were supposed to get him and get out. I either Caliban is already captured because it looks like a fight happened here, or I don't know. Um, I think. <clears throat> Can I use straight up creeping for this move? How would that work? Or there's a, another one where it's like, yeah. Um, so I guess I'm just like comparing the footage that I'm looking at to the footage that I remember. Okay. Yeah. Because it's like when you scope out a person or place, I guess this would count as scoping out a place. Yeah, that that works. Cool. Then roll plus mundane. Yeah, I figured that would happen. Can I use a team? <laughs> yeah. I'm, I mean, I'm cool with it. Yeah. Yeah. We, yeah. we have four, right? Yeah. I mean, Selfishly, or you can uh, use it uh, with someone else's aid. It doesn't matter to me. I mean, I did pull up the footage. Yeah. I, I was think like, it counts think... as, as Ada and Todd working together. Yeah. I'm like pointing at like different parts, and he's like, click, 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 click. He's doing like enhance. the CSI enhance. zoom in on it. Yeah. Yeah. Enhance. <laughs> Enhance. Somehow the resolution gets better. And better. They're doing the MC, they're doing the yeah. NCIS double hack That's, where they're both typing on and, a keyboard at the same yeah, time. Yeah, <laughs> and, and like when it enhances, uh, it still somehow gets better. It's like this isn't even how it works. <laughs> it does in comic books. Yeah, yeah. Todd's um, just that good. Yeah. Uh, um. You know, so I guess my question is um who or what here is not what they seem um the best answer to that is Caliban and he's not following or following what he's supposed to do or in control or something of that sort. Hmm. Um, I think Veronica gets up close to Sinclair. Do you really want to help us? I mean, yeah. You, you have Wouldn't to be. know that your ideals don't line up with Caliban's. Yeah. I don't know what happened there, but I knew those people. Contact them, Sinclair. I don't think they've got an answer. They don't know that Sinclair is working with us, Todd. By which I mean they're unconscious. Yeah. No, I mean I mean Caliban and Prospero. I can try. Contact them. We can set up a meeting. We okay. could have the upper hand. He pulls out his phone. And uh, dials a number that is like 13 or 14 digits long. Mm. Um, and then waits. And as he's doing it, he puts it on speakerphone and you all hear the echoey ring around the room. Rings. It rings. It rings and just when you guys are about to give up, uh, you hear a, a slight click as the line picks up. 
Hello? Um, I don't know if you noticed, but my people are unconscious at the extraction site. What's going on with that? Is there something going on that I should know about? Um, let's see. Give me half a second. There isn't yet. <laughs> Don't like that! No! That, um, no! My mom has this thing on her Mac that makes it go like, it's five o'clock. And it sounds exactly like that. I hate- I just got chills <laughs> in my whole body, Dave! Uh, the I'm boys. depressed. <laughs> <laughs> Y'all okay? Yeah. No, that voice yeah. Just, it just sent me. It was so good. I didn't see it coming. Um, yeah. Veronica stays quiet. Uh, she's just listening. If they yes. reveal anything, like her eyes are like honed in on Helios. Is there? something that I'm supposed to do now because we extracted we extracted Caliban but again my people are down what do you is there some place that I should meet up with him is he okay or silence for a few moments and then he has taken time to regain control of himself meet him at brook square park immediately i okay um I'll do that. Uh, sorry to bother you. And then he hangs up. Oh. So are we going to ambush them? Do we need to call? Support. I, I don't know what to do and not get caught. Get Thunderhead, maybe? Yeah, what maybe. about your family, Ada? Oh, right. Your phone is on now. <laughs> yeah, I, I, she's just been, like holding it, and I was like, is she getting any messages? Is she even, like, or what? <laughs> Dude, imagine, like, Ten missed calls from your mom. Oh, I'm calling shoot, the police. <laughs> so what's on my phone? I think you have. Um, yeah, I think I think Emma's right. You have ten missed calls from your mom. <laughs> Yikes on bikes! Oh goodness. And one message from your older brother. Uh, that says Ada dot 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 what did you do? Um, I'm going to text him back and say I'm sorry and then in the next message I'm going to say I need your help and then in the third message she's going to say can you meet me right away? Or can you call me? And it's like every line is a different text. Yeah, yeah. Because that's how she's she texts. I think um, I think what we do 
is we cut away briefly to um i'm totally blanking on uh his like his, his human name is matt okay thank you <laughs> his human <laughs> name yes um my human name <laughs> his phone buzzes and he he looks at it and he stuffs it in the pocket and i think we see in the background your mom and dad shouting at each other um we don't see any words of what's being said and we see him walk past the doorway where they're screaming in the other room and grabs a jacket off a hanger and puts it on as he steps outside as soon as his feet touch the sidewalk outside the door we see them lift up off the ground and he's floating in the air a few moments later and my phone ringing Mm -hmm. oh i picked it up on like the first ring bud (laughs) okay ada there's we don't have a lot of time to explain um did you did you see the broadcast yeah um we i think you avoided somehow the worse outcome though i don't think they saw you there that's thank god um the the important thing is i'm here we've we know where prospero is and he's asked for a meeting and we're down a team member and we need your help and you're the only you're the only person i trust to handle this Okay, I mean, but what do you need and what have you gotten yourself into? Should I be helping you? I right think, now, like, our team <laughs> consists of a villain who, <laughs> who I don't trust. Do you- um, a person who can suck people's lives away but can't throw a punch. Someone who only throws punches <laughs> and two nerds. So. <laughs> okay. I'm pretty sure you mean Helios is the villain. But. Who else would it be? What changed in the past, like, 45 minutes? You were on broadcast with him, with his message. I can, I, we don't have time to explain. This is a limited window. I, once you get here, I can, I can do it in person. Uh. Okay, just. Okay. What do you need? I I, I I need your power. Dumbass. Okay. <laughs> what do you need me to do with it? I need you to. Last time we, last time we fought Caliban, it was one of the worst days of my life, and I would just appreciate it if we could have some backup. Okay. Okay. But when it's all over, yeah, we got to talk. I understand. It'll all, you, it'll all make sense. What do you need me to do? Where do you need me to go? Um, whatever the name of the park was. <laughs> uh, Brooks, Brooks Square Park. Square. That one. Yes, I, I know things. <laughs> Brooks Square Park, as soon as you can. Don't show your face until things look bad. I don't want you to get involved in this if you don't have to. It's messy enough as it is. I I trust you. Um, Thank you. Okay, I'll be there in five. 
You're the best. Just take care. Okay. Hang up. And she's wiping away tears. Um, she's like facing like a wall in the corner. I don't know what everyone else is doing around, um, but it's just like. I think Veronica's walked over hey. to you. Yeah, yeah like, I mean, talk. definitely I am. I, I know, I know it's how Ty is. <laughs> I probably. Let, let's, I think it, Evie yeah. is the first to get yeah, there. I was, I was, yeah. If Veronica saw I, Evie I and Todd, that. if Veronica saw Evie and Todd ra- uh, gravitating toward Ada, yeah. she'd back off. She, she'd go she's like my, be she's toward. She's my girlfriend. Let me go talk to her. Yeah, <laughs> she'd I, be I toward Sinclair. I think Evie gets there first, so. Um, okay. Yeah. She's Evie, sniffling just a little bit, just like wiping away just like a little bit of tears. Evie doesn't touch her, uh, like her shoulder or anything, um, but she's just like, are you, are you okay? I just feel like, <sighs> I've, I'm, I'm ruining everything that I've, I've worked to, to build. <sighs> For myself. Because now my parents won't trust me anymore. And everything's just going to be awful. And if they, they're, I'm not going to be able to keep the superhero part a secret any longer. And I tried. Uh, go ahead. Um, um she. Now, she, yeah, now she's, like, facing her, she, like, puts both her hands on her sheet to, like, center her, you know? Mm-hmm. She's, like, you know you're a damn good hero, right? If It doesn't matter if your parents trust you or not, because you're going to make them trust you when you kick Caliban's ass. Okay. Okay? I believe you. Yeah. And then she, like, kisses her cheek. That, I think that counts as my vulnerability. <laughs> yeah. Uh, um, and they did uh, confirm that you should be here. Mm-hmm. I'm going to, yeah, so mark potential, give them influence over you. You already have influence. So. <laughs> Shift one of her labels up and one of them down. So oh, I just. Geez. Okay, let me get my thing up. Uh, um, please don't shift up my my savior because it's right where I want it to be. <laughs> oh, I do it. Yeah, you have yeah, to. Yeah, you do. Oh, okay. Uh, in the shift- meantime, while uh, Emma is figuring that out, I, was- I can. I just get- uh, took another level, and I'm going to unlock my uh, moment of truth. Yay! But uh, at, yeah, like after that, you. I like pause a second because the two of them has never occurred to, has never occurred to him, and he just kind of stares himself a little bit. Ada, you're the toughest fucking person I know. <laughs> and you, Evie's you, standing you right here, <laughs> and she's blushing, and she's like, <laughs> "You're the toughest fucking person I know. If I would do this, it's you." We're gonna go fuck Galban up. Yeah, we are. We're gonna slap both of you on the shoulders. <laughs> <laughs> and Todd, they just gets Todd riled up, like, yeah, yeah, I love my friends. <laughs> like, he's like a guy, that guy that's way too pumped up at a football game. <laughs> I have a question. I have a question. What happens when I hit minus three on something? Does it just stay? Oh, means Louise, did I mess up? Um, no, it's uh, fine. You go below negative two, it, uh, the transition doesn't actually occur and you mark a condition. If you go above plus three or below minus two, it doesn't okay. and you mark a condition. Okay, could you choose one that's other than freak so I don't have to mark yes, a condition? Uh, <laughs> Please don't uh, touch savior. I think uh, we see people moving towards the exit and Sinclair sort of hey Todd look, I yeah. I'm sorry not just sorry in the way that like 
you punched me because of it, but like that was shit. It was. Then uh, is it just the two of them? Yeah. He just um, moves a step closer, like lean, like lean toward him. Then what was his voice? I don't. I don't hate you. I know I should, but I don't. Then he just turns, walks away. You leave a very confused Sinclair behind. <laughs> and I think we're going to cut to Animus. What are you doing right now? I'm waiting for a response from Redtail or Mercy. I mean, you pinged your location, so it would imply that they're on their way. Um, why don't you roll? Um, why don't you roll me? Yeah, just two d six plus conditions. Okay. But I get to know why I'm doing this? To help me figure something out. Okay. That's a 13. I think you hear a car park outside. And you hear the door get closed behind the vehicle and footsteps fall up, come up the stairs towards you and you hear a knock at the door. I think Animus kind of looks over at Jay. <laughs> um, but then after a moment gets up and uh, opens the door. You see a man in a um, an expensive suit with his bow tie undone around his neck. And he says, Animus? Greetings. Come with me. Yeah, Animus nods and follows him. Uh, he sort of motions for you to start making your way down the hall, uh, opening, holding the door open for you. And ducks <laughs> you can see him pause a moment, looking inside the room before closing the door. Um, and then outside is a limousine. Animus turns to him and goes, I don't think Animus will fit in that. <laughs> what do you mean? Height-wise, there's plenty of room for you to lounge if that will help you fit yeah i think he he opens the door and then tries to maneuver his way in there probably laying down yeah it, it's it's one of those uh limousines that's more open on the inside instead of having rows mm -hmm. um and after you climb in or in our sort of squatting or lying down, sort of. Uh, he closes the door behind him. And you hear a voice over the intercom. Uh, where to, Mr. Collins? Uh, head back to, head back to my estate for now. Understood. And the limousine takes off uh, down the city streets. 
and he puts his hand and head in his hands and goes, what am I going to do with you? Yeah, I think Animus just stays quiet. Sorry, I haven't introduced myself, have I? You can call me Mr. Collins, Conrad Collins. It's good to meet you, Mr. Collins. I hear that you're having some problems with the whole being in control thing. Yes. I can try to help, but I don't know. It's not a... You do not seem hopeful. It's hard. I know it happened. I've seen people not come back from a lot less. Some people just become obsessive, withdraw. I don't know, try to make it right, I guess. never admit to making mistakes but you're admitting well, I... affirmative why I think Animus is sort of like, I don't know if he's lying down, but I think he could sort of fold himself into like a very uncomfortable looking position and he sort of shifts uncomfortably. Why wouldn't I? Most people would not admit when they did something wrong. I think Animus looks down at himself and then looks back up at Mr. Collins. Yeah. I am not built like most people. Although I think most people should. Yeah, maybe. Is there something that can help this from being just a total disaster for you because oftentimes accepting what you did means that I don't know is there anything I can do That's kind of an odd question. I'm not sure what it is you can do. I'm not sure where it is where we are going. 
or who you are. I thought I told you that I'm Conrad Collins. You know those Conrad Enterprises uh, buildings with that plastered on them? It's my company. Oh, understood. Though, um, you might know me by a different name. So I'm to be taken to your labs? I don't know where I'm taking you yet. It's either the red tail den, lock you away, or somewhere else. I'm asking where you want to be taken. The cage, or a lab, or somewhere else entirely. I think Animus stays quiet for a very long time. And then he says, I did not realize criminals got to choose where they go, but I suppose if I have the choice, Perhaps a lab would be more familiar. I can try to arrange that then. Um, you're we'll see how things blow over, but not hopeful, but I don't know. I'm optimistic that it won't end in a total disaster. For who? Well, You, me, I don't know, the city, if I think you're able to head back out eventually. If there are changes that could be made, I would like you to try. Then let's try. And I think, uh, did anyone contact Animus about what was happening in the park? Not me. Veronica didn't. As far as Todd is aware, he's not in the equation right now. I'd have thought to. Yeah. If Veronica left, <clears throat> excuse me, if Veronica left with Animus, Ada would have trusted that Veronica would have called him or contacted him if she felt it was necessary. Yeah. So is that a yes then? <laughs> <laughs> no, I think it's a no. I don't think anyone yeah. called him. No, nope, no one didn't. I wanted to no thought, one's called honestly, him. Yeah. I wouldn't have thought to. Cause Todd's going to feel like such a bad friend. She would have assumed Veronica did. And uh, I mean, that makes Ada, perfect sense, assuming Veronica did. Yeah. Right. Yeah. And Ada's, like, crying, so I don't think that calling <laughs> Animus is, like, my number one, like, MO right now. Right. Yeah. And I Veronica's think... angry, so she's not. She's so mad. I think... That's her secret cap. 
<laughs> I think we see um, just this shot of the limousine pulling up to the um, large manor. And then we see a shot of the dark park. And I would like everyone to start thinking of what they're going to be doing when we come back from break. We'll be right back.
streams, right, Dave? Yeah, that's actually what's at the park. There's just streamers <laughs> everywhere. Balloons, <laughs> cake. I mean, I mean, we can have streamers everywhere. Oh, like there was God. a party uh, earlier today, but uh, rain has soaked the park since then. And they're hanging off the trees, broken and sagging from the branches. Uh, the ground is a little muddy when you step on it. Um, leftover decorations uh, are scattered a little around the floor of the uh, shelter area in the park. And it's dark. Um, what's Sinclair doing? Is he's... he like making himself known or like walking straight up? He's not like trying to hide? Because he is me he is meeting them, right? Like so Sinclair's not in hiding or anything. He is waiting for you guys to tell him what he should do. God, Sinclair, you're so useless. Useless Sinclair. Um, uh, out of character. Leave him alone in character. <laughs> just fly casual. No, no, well, not leave out him alone. Out of character. Out of character. Sinclair can eat my shorts. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, I'm thinking something a lot loose, but I guess we um, should. Veronica <laughs> looks at the group. Do you think that maybe Ada should go with you? She made a pretty big showing on that broadcast going against her family. If you're okay with that, Ada. Yeah, that's that's what I was thinking, honestly, was he and I would, would go in together because if the rest of all of us come in all at once, they're going to know that oh, of course. shit is up. I, I'm pretty sure they're already suspicious as it is. Yep. Um... Did we call any other heroes? Did we call, we called your brother, is Matt there? Is he? In the sky. Okay. Hmm. So Matt has a vantage point. Yeah. Um. The three of us should probably just stay close and out of sight. Right. Uh, does the little shelter thing have like rafters in it? Yeah. Yeah, uh, that's just gonna suggest that Sinclair, like, meet on an edge of the shelter, and then he's going to grapple gun up on, onto one of them and just kind of, uh, Perch, like, a yeah. like a bird, like a bird, like a bird of prey, <laughs> yes, um, gonna swoop up, swoop down a little bit. Veronica is going to, um, She's going to get a pretty good distance away. So it looks like she's just in the park, you know, taking a walk or something. Um, but keep an eye on where Sinclair and Ada go because she, she knows she can use Portal to get to them if she needs to. She doesn't have to be close. Do any of us know that Portal hurts you when you use it? Nope. Okay, then, like, yeah. Like, like the day was the first time we saw it, it right? Does? Yeah, the first time y'all saw it was when she uh, took Ada, Ada to Sinclair. Yeah. Yeah. So yeah, this is a new thing that we don't understand and haven't yet asked. Yeah, you don't know I that it. I genuinely didn't know. <laughs> yeah, it, and it, yeah. she doesn't. She doesn't talk about method acting. <laughs> she she doesn't talk about what how what she does hurts her. Um, so. Mm -hmm. And I do think Veronica's super weak at this point. She hasn't actually Ooh. done Honestly, much. Honestly, I'll probably... If only there was a target coming. I'll probably stay close to Veronica. Because I can probably tell that she looks kind of weak, so... Like, keep an eye on her while she keeps an eye on Ada. And <laughs> Yeah, yeah and if you stay good. within distance and she can grab you to go with her. Yeah. So. Yeah, yeah. I think, uh. You and. Or Rachel, you and Helios end up 
walking towards the more open pavilion area in this park. Uh, there are a couple of dim lights casting uh, shadows around, but there's no movement at the moment. I'm, I'm sorry to interrupt. So, like, they moved away from the uh, shelter area? They're not too far away. Can but... I see them? That's that. Because, um, like. Not sitting in the rafters. If you were hanging from the rafters, then yeah. Or if you had, like, a periscope to look down. At, at this point, he, he's just gonna like roll his eyes, drop down, and try to be as selfie as he can on the ground. Okay. Um, you and Helios are standing there, Ada. <laughs> and you hear a soft squelching footsteps as they step through the mud uh, that are slowly growing louder as they approach you and uh, muddy footprints following uh, a form enters the dim light of the pavilion. Hello? Uh, this is Ada. She was on the broadcast with me. Hi. And then you hear a voice. Um, one that you remember that says, Oh, I haven't forgotten you. And a jet of thick, muddy water arcs out of the ground behind, uh, behind them and slams into Helios, knocking him back. Can I move to defend him? Yeah, go for it. <laughs> hey, um, I think I've, I've got a couple moves for this. Well, um, I've got a move... Um, the simplest and most straightforward move is defend. <laughs> yeah. Well, I'm just saying I've got a move that's called um, when you uh, suck it, Domitian. I don't know how to pronounce the last word, but I can't. That's not my problem, um, which is when I stand strong while dramatically under fire, roll plus savior instead of plus danger to directly engage a threat. I'm just asking, is this one of those cases uh, this would not be directly engaging a threat. No, 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 no. Where we're a drama against a dramatic, um, oh, um, against a dramatically yeah. under fire. Yes. You, okay. This would just be asking. Dramatically under fire. Okay. Cool. But yeah, Rachel, what do you do? Or Ada, what do you do? Yeah, I think Ada moves to take the blow, kind of thing, instead of him, because if she's take if he's taken out of the fight, then they're going to be in trouble but if she's taken out of the fight then it's less of a loss so i'm going to just shove him out of the way of that jet of water roll to so defend someone okay full hit okay yeah then the text reads um uh let's see on a hit you keep them safe and choose one uh add a team to the pool take influence over someone you protect or clear a condition? I'm going to clear, well, this doesn't matter because of reasons. Um, um, I guess I'm going to add a team to the pool. Okay. Oh, um, you know what? I think we are at a specific point in this, and that is you guys are uh, entering battle against a dangerous foe as a team. So let's go down the list. Um, who's the team leader? It's, it's Ada. Me. Is it me? Ada. Uh, yeah. Of us, it's Ada. Yeah. I don't have influence over everybody, so that's not an extra team. Okay. Um, uh, if everyone has the same purpose in the fight, add another team. What's your purpose? To stop Caliban? Yeah. 
Yeah, okay. yeah. <laughs> Basically, no one has a different purpose than that. If any team member mistrusts the leader of or the mistrusts the leader or the team, remove a team. I definitely don't. Yeah, I don't. Cool, thank you. You you sure. trust the entire team? Yeah. My life. Okay. Including Helios, who is also on the team for this you mission. You know what? Actually. Yeah, I would say I don't trust Helios. Veronica does. Veronica. Love does crazy things to you. If your team is ill prepared or off balance, remove a team. Remove a team. You yeah, we, we really, we, we, we're we missing one of our biggest boons in a fight right now. <laughs> we, also, we also do have my brother backing us up, but he doesn't know our dynamic. Yeah. <laughs> Which is not good. <laughs> <clears throat> um, but yeah, uh, with all things considered uh, from the team you had left over, because we haven't had any quote unquote time has passed since the last time, you guys still have five team points. Plus the one that I just added. I added that in. Okay, cool. Right. Perfect. Fifteen. Yeah. So <laughs> if I rolled an eleven on that, I think like it looks like I like push him out of the way and like the water shoves me back and I'm like gross and muddy, <laughs> but I'm still standing. Okay. Right? Yeah, absolutely. Uh it, it doesn't hit you as hard as it would have hit him. Uh let's see. What is Todd doing right now? Uh, the moment that the uh, water uh, starts flying, he's going to grapple to like a, a light pole and uh, go stand between, like almost taking point between uh, Ada and Sinclair. Okay. Got it. Uh, Veronica and Evie, what are y'all up to? The minute she sees that wave crash, she's just grabbing Evie and specifically portaling over to behind Caliban. Okay. <laughs> And all of you are there. Uh, you can see just a cruel smirk cross his face. Um, and can I punch the back? No, I'm just kidding. I'm not going to do that. <laughs> I'm not that dumb. I was going to ask, can I use one of my adult moves? Yeah, go for it. I'm going to wield my powers. Okay. Um, that? yeah, I think, so she, using these portals, like, cause I, every time I have to use them, I have to mark a doom track. So I'm sort of narratively imagining that using the portals drains her too. It, it takes a lot out of her and she's used them a lot today, <laughs> running yeah. from problems. Um, so I think she, um. She has come out of nowhere behind Caliban uh, and she removes her glove and I think she's going to grab um, his arm or his neck wherever there's skin exposed and she's going to focus all of her energy and her power that she has left on um, wielding my powers with precision and grace because she is specifically focusing on giving it all she she's got to make what? Caliban vulnerable and weak. Okay. Yeah, she wants to to yeah. to drain him and in turn make herself stronger. Okay, yeah, go for it. This is going to be roll plus freak. Yeah. Okay. Adult move, let's go. Love it. Nine partial hit. Uh, you could spend so a hit, choose team. one. Take um, one. I, I want, yeah, I want to make, I want to spend a team uh, selfishly okay. to uh, make it out of ten, make it a full hit, uh, a strong hit. Okay, how does that add to the narrative? Um, 
I think it adds to the narrative that no one, none of them have ever seen her focus this hard. And it's actually very reminiscent, at least to Todd, of before she, when she um, passed out. Um, it's just like, it, it's that, um, like that moment where her eyes go black and where she's touching Caliban, the tips of her fingers begin to go black up her hands because she's focusing mm. all that dark energy into him and siphoning from him. Like the selfish thing is that you are letting yourself. I'm hurting myself care. to save everyone. Yeah. To help everyone. Mm. Like, like with the selfish aspect aspect of it is that like you are willing to scare Todd. Yeah, I mean, I'm willing to scare everybody. <laughs> yeah. Um. So then choose two. Yeah. So I'm going to choose. Um. I want to neutralize him at least for now. Um, okay. And uh, also. I don't know what take hold of something vulnerable would means. What does that mean? What do you think it means in the narrative? It's oh, I don't know. <laughs> um, what would be something vulnerable to you that you could take a hold of? Because he's already neutralized. Um, right next to you. I mean, I don't know if that. I don't know why you would. Take... If you I think. Want to... Oh, go ahead. I think I'm going to create something useful. Okay. And I think that that is clearing the way for Evie to punch. Evie punch. <laughs> She's going because <laughs> I, I think what she does is when she begins to drain him, I think he gets weak, so he's sort of losing his balance. That's making him neutralize you. He's probably falling to his knees. It gives. Evie a perfect chance to do something. Yeah. Because okay. she's right there beside me. Ooh. Go for it, Evie. Okay, if he, is he on his knees? Yeah, he fell to one knee and uh, is grimacing. At um, the and she's, Veronica still has a hold on him. Yeah. I'll probably kick him and be a Sonic <laughs> to try okay. and keep him down. Yeah, more. I know that he's already vulnerable, but once um, the Veronica gets the energy, then roll to directly engage a threat. All right, roll plus danger. Uh, hold on. Uh, oh my gosh. Okay. Where is it? Okay. Oh. Wow. Jeez, I don't want to hit him that hard. <laughs> um, you rolled as high as you could. Uh, oh. Uh, and yeah, she kicks can. his head off. <laughs> right. But um, on the other hand, you do get to choose to resist or avoid their blows, take something from them, create an opportunity for your allies, or impress, surprise, or frighten the opposition. I think I would do create an opportunity for my allies somehow okay and um impress surprise or fright in the opposition i'd probably surprise him okay <laughs> yeah uh you catch him off guard he was not expecting uh this and you knock the wind right out of him uh <coughs> he's coughing and sputtering for breath and todd what do you do uh, I'm probably going to, because even something that hit, su such a big hit could be shaken off. I'm going to try to, uh, try to like double bow it in a way that they'll wrap or they'll basically tie his legs together. Like just grab something from the utility belt. Yeah, sure. Go for it. Uh, that would probably be unleash your powers since you're not right. trying to hurt him as much as that's a miss yeah that is um so i think... 
I think what happens is um, I think the bolos go a little wide and they end up uh, catching on Veronica some who stumbles for a second and releases her grip on um, on Caliban, who then uh, is free to take a step back from Evie's punch. And uh, you can see he's in pain and just he swings his arm and um, you see a massive just wave of um mud just come crashing down all around you and your team and as the one closest to him i'm going to have evie roll to take a powerful blow uh okay so can i can i push her out of the way of this one no because you're getting hit with it too yeah Oh, so I just wrote conditions. Okay. I'm trying to make this seem more so hard. Um, ah, beans. Well, <laughs> all beans indeed. Uh, ah, geez. You get to look at the Take a Powerful Pull list. And you got a great score of an 11, which means you get to choose one. You must remove yourself from the situation, flee, pass out, etc. You lose control over yourself or your powers in a terrible way, or two options from the seven to nine list. I'm going to kick your butt, because you were like, now we get to look at this great list. Okay, no. I'm sorry, but what do you say? I'm going to kick your butt today was the cutest thing in the world. <laughs> um, okay. Uh, these all suck ass. Well, that's that's kind of the point of the I move. know it's the point. I'm just I'm trying to figure it out. I think I'll um probably if it's like a bunch of mud, I mean probably remove myself from the situation like because it like smacks me far enough away that I kind of like that more refers to like leaving the fight altogether. Oh, okay. Uh, I'm not going to do that. Um, uh, while you're thinking, um, okay. why don't we see Ada? What are what are you up to? Uh, Helios is struggling to his feet as he got hit by this mudslide as well. I'm going to go up to him, uh, to Caliban, like run up and dash, and I'm going to try and like knock him down, like clip him. Yeah, okay. Uh, Roll to directly engage a threat, plus danger. So I have a move. That's that's the one that I was talking about earlier, where if um, I'm standing strong while dramatically under fire, I roll plus savior instead of plus danger to directly engage a threat. So that's why I didn't want anyone to touch my savior. (laughs) So, yeah. Yeah. And how... Y'all are on fire with your rolls tonight. Uh, yeah, that's a that's a full hit. Um, what do you end up doing for those two options you gotta pick? Resist um, rolls, take something, create opportunity, impress, surprise, or fright. I'm going to um, create an opportunity and um, take something from them. Can that be like the way that I hit him? I daze him enough that like. He can't hit as hard with his like water moves Hmm. or like that he has to try like a different form of water move. So he can't do any more like waves or like stuff like that. Is that something that I can do or days him for a bit? Yeah. Um, yeah. Cool. Like a plan. Um, so Let's see. He's definitely not super happy about everything that's going on here. And uh, I think 
you sort of like stagger him and he's like his eyes are darting between all of you and <laughs> and um no i would kill you all and uh he forms a um a spear of water that grows hard in his hand and he charges straight at you ada okay that's and cool he's looking to uh stab you with his weapon May is I there anything it- and i'm gonna make you roll to take a powerful blow this is cool because I have a, ro- a move called never give up, never surrender that says when I take a powerful blow from someone with far greater power than you, I use this move instead of the basic move. Girl plus savior on a hit, I stand strong and choose one on a seven to nine market condition. <laughs> Should I say what I chose? Because Oh yeah. Because I took one. I'm just going to say um, I just did the two seven to nine ones. The one is you give ground, your opposition gets an opportunity, which he just did, I figure. And then one is, um, the other one is lash out verbally, provoke a teammate to full hardy action, or take advantage of your influence to inflict the condition. So when it says um, provoke a teammate, is that just me like, like yelling at them? <laughs> For the most part, oftentimes accompanied okay. by the... Uh the specific move um, uh, provokes someone. Okay, so she's just gonna yell at Veronica, kick his fucking ass, but like a lot cooler than my voice sounds <laughs> um, while she's okay. like kind of knocked out. So yeah. Um, so yeah, Rachel, what was that role? Um, let me do that right now. Full hit. So I get to pick one from this uh, list and choose choose one. So I'm going to say that I keep your attacker's attention. Um, yeah. Okay. Um, I think... Learn how to aim <laughs> is what Ada said. Yeah. Um, He snarls at you and we cut uh, to a warm, dry, luxurious limousine. (laughs) And uh, the driver is going down the streets calmly. The windows are dark, but you can still see out of them. And it's pretty dark outside too, and uh, Conrad is on his phone just swiping through something. And uh, you look out the window, and with your more sensitive hearing, uh, your audio receptors hear a shout, and your uh, attention is grabbed to the park nearby and you see figures standing in the middle of it um fighting i mean i do i see it's my friends how good is your vision pretty good i can zoom in really far and enhance (laughs) and enhance Mm -hmm. and enhance Mm -hmm. i enhance like five times at least well not as good as not as good as todd he can enhance eight times no see Uh, yeah uh but yeah um you see your friends out there it's hard to make them out uh but you recognize them and the stuff that's going on I made the mistake of reading. (laughs) (laughs) I'm sorry. Carly, wield that sword, please. (laughs) Oh. (laughs) 
stream is canceled. <laughs> you all die. <laughs> I'm sorry. Uh, tears in eyes. <laughs> okay. Oh, that was Definitely so fucking we good. Got <laughs> so, um, <laughs> I think we see Animus sort of look at Collins, look back out the window, look back at Collins, <laughs> and he kind of does this like weird like shudder, um, like when there's something wrong with a car. <laughs> Um, and then he, he goes, Animus will return shortly (laughs) and I'm going to use unstoppable to burst out of the side of the limousine. (laughs) Yeah. Um, the limousine, like. You hear the wrenching of metal from I across. I do have to roll for it, unless you oh, don't okay. want to make me roll for it. Then roll for it. Please okay. do. It's more fun when you roll. Oh, yeah. Oh, shit. I Y'all do. On fire tonight. <laughs> um, yeah. Uh, you hear wrenching metal from across the park. And Animus, what are you doing? Um... Do I see Caliban? You see there's a figure in the middle that they're all fighting. Oh, yeah. Um, I'm going to, as I'm just, like, I'm not going to stop my trajectory and just blast through Caliban. (laughs) Okay. Um, Roll to directly engage a threat. (laughs) That's danger. Okay, uh, you get to choose one from the list. Uh, that list including resist or avoid blows, uh, take something from them, create an opportunity for allies, impress, surprise, or frighten. Um, I think um, I'm going to resist their blows. Okay. Um, you end up plowing through him and he's lying on the ground and you're sort of standing above him. And I think you're standing on, like, you knocked him into, like, a rocky bit, a little bit of ways. And there's this, like, massive puddle of mud behind you uh, with everyone else. And he just goes, (laughs) everyone's here. And then his fist clenches and you hear the concrete in the pavilion square just crack and just it starts sinking down with all of you in it mud is starting to swell over you and i'm going to have all of you except animus roll to take a powerful blow Uh uh-oh okay i don't know it's fine but um when oh no yeah no, that's oh my that's god good. oh that's right <laughs> and i mark potential yes ah! so it's two fail oh no that's fine that's what, how you want it i'm the one who wants to succeed here yeah. that's fine okay so refer to the take a powerful blow list uh ev same thing as last time for you uh yeah Rachel, seven to nine, choose one lash outfit verbally, provoke a teammate to foolhardy action or take advantage of your influence to inflict a condition. You give grand, your opposition gets an opportunity, or you struggle past the pain and mark two conditions. Um, so we're like in a sinkhole, right? Basically. Yeah, basically. All right. She... I don't know. I don't like either of these. <laughs> um, I think for Evie, she'll probably um, I don't know, man. Probably lose control of herself, but I don't know how. I don't think she'd pass out, but she can't really flee um, considering the circumstances. So Lose control of yourself or your powers in a terrible way is one of the options. She she might be like um, 
trying to use I don't know if this if this isn't okay to do or like in the rules and like just tell me but uh she's probably trying to use her power somehow to like grip on so she doesn't slip so much but if she took the powerful blow it's obviously not working so it's like I don't know maybe she accidentally punches someone in the face flailing or something yeah like she loses like her footing trying too hard to keep her footing instead of just like letting herself go yeah okay i think i think what's happening is uh you see uh that sinclair was able to avoid the stuff by getting uh his slight um hovering when he activated his uh holy armor and um your flailing is swinging wildly and todd is right next to you oh i'm sorry (laughs) but sinclair jumps in the way of your fist knocking todd to safety and uh getting slammed backwards uh into a tree don't you dare make me like him uh and ada on your frequency you hear uh in your earpiece i uh, ada i can't do anything with everyone around there do you just want me here as backup or i'll, I'll sort things out <clears throat> Okay, just remember I'm here if you need any additional help or... Mm-hmm. Um, I'm going to... So what I'm trying to do is I'm trying to keep Caliban's attention on me okay. <laughs> and away from everyone else. Um, and that's that's the thing I'm going to choose again from my, my special list uh, is keep your attacker's attention. So And I'm going to like pull myself up out of the mud and be like this is can't even uh, take um, down a, a, a powerless wimp like me uh i never give up never surrender move yeah, okay. market condition as well yeah i already did okay. i'm angry because it hurt my my girlfriend <laughs> okay yeah um okay yeah uh his attention is focused on you todd what are you doing uh he looks uh, like like I think either as soon as Animus arrives and or just now he looks to Animus and Calvin just laughing. You are so screwed. Then <laughs> wham. <laughs> yeah, let's see it. My danger is still not great though. You got team points. Very flashing. Oh, it's good enough. All righty. I will... I would like to uh, impress or surprise or frighten, which I think works great in fiction. It's like, why is he confident? And then uh, create an opportunity for my allies. Yeah. Um, Let's see. I think uh, you knock him back and... uh, He is, he managed to, um, uh, as you got the last hit on him, uh, he raised his hand up and uh, mud surrounded you and sort of like the water drained out of it. And so it's hard mud surrounding your torso right now. Um, That's fair. Now we go back to Veronica really quick. And here's the thing. Um, you have used your powers intently a couple times before, not, not frequently, even on powered individuals. And it wasn't on Caliban that you used it last time, but this time feels different. Like there was more power that came to you than you were expecting. Um, like there was more that he has than last time. 
which is great because for my advancement, I picked up the Nova flares and burn. Oh. Um, so I get to have burn and choose three flares. I'm going to charge up my powers. So I'm going to roll conditions. Yeah, absolutely. Get them condition rolls. God damn it! Oh, uh, you can can you have can tea. use tea? Yeah, I'm just mad. <laughs> um. Yeah, so I'm going to make it a seven. So I mark a condition. Um, and I get three burn. Uh, do I pick the condition? Uh, yes, you can. Yeah, she's angry. She's pissed. Um, and I'm going to, um, you said he created like a little moat kind of thing, like, like a, yeah, say? sort of. Uh, so you'll, most of the rest of you, uh, got sucked into mud. You were close enough and you climbed out of it. Evie is flailing around. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> um, yeah. So I'm going to step down into the. Or, or like step closer to him and my eyes are still Ronnie's eyes are still dark pitch black and that blackness that was on her fingers it's moving further up her hands and she looks almost like she doesn't have full control of what's happening I'm going to unleash reality storm so and channel a destructive burst with your powers okay so I spend one burn to directly engage a threat um, rolling freak instead of danger. Okay, let's see it. Okay, that's a hit. And I'm going to spend an extra burn to not cause the collateral damage. Okay, so what is happening? Uh, I think with... I think she uses his power against him. Okay. I think she has siphoned some of this power that he has and I think she channels her own sort of what he did to Ada that hard mass of water and lunges toward him to to stab him in the chest okay choose one uh what are they where are they uh it is give me half a second uh Resist or avoid their blows. Take something from them. Create an opportunity for your allies or impress, surprise, or frighten the opposition. I'm going to create an opportunity because um, I don't think anyone saw that coming. Yeah, I'm going to create an opportunity for whoever goes next. Yeah. Um, I think you knock the wind out of him. He wasn't impaled uh, as the spear collided with his chest um it sort of turned into thick mud on the way but you can tell that he was uh hurt by it and uh todd yeah what do you do um i'm going to try to have we gone far down enough that the soil around us is harder mm, what do you mean it's like my logic is that since we're always uh further down that uh at least some of of the soil around us isn't as muddy yeah yeah i'm what i'm gonna it's do is stuck in uh the dried mud yeah what I'm going to try to do is basically hold him down further and try to find the right crevice and then throw an adhesive bomb in there. Okay. Yeah, make a freak roll. Unleash your powers. I did it. Uh, what are you What are you planning on doing as he's throwing this adhesive bomb and it sort of uh, glues on? Oh, uh, that's unleash your power. So that is right. market conditioner. Uh, I will tell you how it is how it is temporary or unstable. Um, I'm going to get angry. Okay. 
Just yeah. a bunch of pissed off teens right now. Yeah. Just an angsty oh. teens. Evie, what, what's you up to? Waylon. What else? <laughs> no, I mean, kidding. you managed to regain your footing. Um, I want to punch the man, the dude. Yeah, roll very plus hard. Two. Um, but could I? So if I've gotten my footing, could I use an adult move? Uh, Why not? If not, not it's fine. Time. Not this time. Okay. I'll just do engage with that then. Well, plus two. Oh man, well, that's fine. And if you want to use them, um, I think, think it makes sense. Helping and stuff. I I think it makes sense if she's like still like after like falling and stuff. Okay. Yeah, I think it makes sense. So. Yeah, I think. Oh, and market condition. Right. Yeah. Oh, not a can wait potential. Yep. Uh, I think what we see is, uh, um, Caliban ends up taking advantage of this opening and shattering the rocks, uh, that he was being held to, and. He sort of has a wicked smile across his face and just says, thank you for giving me my power back. And then uh, like a massive geyser, all of you um, start rising up, getting coated in mud as he lifts you and everyone else up above the tree line. You see a tendril of this mud just snaking and grabbing uh, grabbing the boot of Thunderhead and pulling him down with the rest of you. Oh, shit. Boo. And you can see him cackling. I'm so much more than what I was. And now you're all going to pay for what you did to me. Is is there a way that I can use my moment of, um, my moment of truth? Yeah, I think, I think he's disregarded you in this, uh, group. He has everyone else entrapped and you're down on the ground right now. How can I take him down? You tell me how you do it. So they're on like geyser pillars of water? Yeah, like there's a geyser of mud that's sort of like escalating up and has them all trapped inside of it. Mm -hmm. And um, it's above the tree line and it's captured the brother too. And he's just sort of standing in the middle with the others bound around him. Watch out for power lines, man. Um, I think <laughs> so I can my thing says I can take down a bad guy no matter how crazy or insane or ridiculous. When you activate it, you read the entire Okay. Statement. So I'm activating my moment of truth and I say this is the moment when you show them exactly why you belong here. You do any one thing, take out any one enemy no matter how insane, no matter how ridiculous because that's you. Their jaws are going to drop when you're done. Of course, pulling off a stunt like this tends to bring unwanted attention and a dangerous reputation. So can I just narrate this whole thing? Just... That's exactly what you're supposed to do. Okay. So what happens is it's a rocky area. So she just picks up a rock and um, chucks it at him and it hits him right on his head. And he, he wavers and he like drops the geyser for one second and he falls enough that I can just like pick him, like take him out. Like I'm running and I throw us on a distance that's like far enough away from everyone else that we wouldn't be in danger of um, the lightning from my brother. And I 
put my knee on his back and I pin him for a moment. And I tell Matt to hit him with all he's got because I can resist electrical damage. And it's not going to hurt me. You hear just this swirl of wind and you feel the hair on your arms tingle and just this like the crash of thunder and clouds before the storm rolls in you hear this forming and then a brilliant white light surrounds you and him once twice three times and his form (laughs) beneath you is sizzled and you feel his muscles tense each time against you but your grip stays strong forcing him and holding him against the ground as he struggles and then he passes out on the last blast the geyser slowly returns to regular and your friends caked in mud sit on the ground once again I'm like panting because like even for me that was like a lot. Oh yeah. Like Todd. Uh I just run to her. Uh, you got I, those yeah. you got those power flick. And exactly. I, I put them me. on him on his his hands behind his back. <sighs> And then I roll over, like I flop off of him onto my back. (laughs) And like my hair is like all standing on end. (laughs) You did good, buddy. Like my nose is probably bleeding because of the the stress that it put on my body. You you did good. Are you okay? Need to. Oh man, listen. Sorry. You can keep going. I'm sorry. (laughs) He just like, uh, like, a very like fraternal grasping of the shoulder, then uh, two pats, then goes to check in on the rest of the team. Yeah, I'm gonna curl over onto my side and throw up. <laughs> I, are, are you sure? Are, are you sure you're good? <laughs> Dude, I'm like wiping all the mud off my face with my jacket. I'm like beeline. <laughs> to Ada because I was really fucking cool and um she was gonna kiss me but then uh she threw up so uh, (laughs) 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 so she's probably just like um she was like that was so cool like thanks no are you okay here let me pick you up and she's just gonna pick you up (laughs) <laughs> Idol style? Yeah, I mean, what else? <laughs> yeah. Gonna pick you up and then just kind of like wait to see what everybody else wants to do. But um, yeah. <laughs> and uh, I think you see. Uh, a man in a suit uh, walking towards you uh, with his bow tie undone around his neck coming from a ruined limousine. <laughs> <laughs> well, that was a bit of a spectacle even for the standards of all of you. Indeed it was. We got we've got a good team. I think in what's happened, no one has noticed that Veronica's not there. Je m'excuse. But excuse me? Je m'excuse? Um okay. Is St. Clair there? I think he's asking if you took him. Oh, no, she didn't take him. No, fuck him. (laughs) (laughs) 
<laughs> no, she she's Veronica's just gone. Okay. okay. Um. Okay. That's concerning. But that still. Sinclair is sort of. Uh, 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 yeah, I uh, help him up. I think. Um, uh, Conrad walks over and puts his hand on your arm and uh, grabs one of uh, Sinclair's wrists. I am. Um... So, Animus, that was. And this guy asking. Like, he's asking Conrad for clarification that, like, he's more okay with Animus now. Look. Animus and I have talked. And as long as Animus is working on figuring out how to not have these problems and suppose as long as you and the others are there to keep him in line I'll let him out for now but you know that of all of the people that would be brought in from this situation Sinclair is the must I let him go (laughs) I, I understand. And then uh, he just looks to him. You didn't, you didn't have to do that for me, back there. I appreciate it. Then I just um, uh, look to Conrad. I, kn- I know this sounds weird, but take care of him. All right. He's not the worst. Then I just walk back to the rest of the team. You see um, him reach into his back pocket and a uh, pair of power inhibiting cuffs expand and he latches them over Sinclair's wrists and takes him back to the ruined (laughs) limousine um, and puts him in and is keeping a very close eye on him as they slowly drive away. And Animus, what are you doing? I think Animus is sheepishly walking um, closer and closer to the rest of the team, uh, looking around for Veronica um, as well. And when he doesn't see her, I think he sends her a message asking, where'd you go? No response. Um, if you try to track her too, you won't get a response because she was smart enough to take the card out of her phone and break it. Yeah, that tracks. So what are the four of you doing now? Uh, I'm just I, holding my girlfriend. I don't know <laughs> what else to do. <laughs> I go up to... Uh, and miss, um, I'm glad you're okay. Um, yeah, I'm glad. I'm glad you're here to help. <laughs> yeah, I think Animus, uh, he sort of looks at the, the rest of you. I don't think you needed my help, but I'm glad I was here too. You guys are amazing. So are you. <laughs> yeah. He just kind of shrugs. If, if you need help with whatever happened, we we will always be there for you. And if you hadn't noticed, we're pretty good with computers. So we might need to go in for a checkup. I think that's long overdue. <laughs> I look at Evie and say... You take me to the hospital for real this time. Yes, I'll take you to the hospital for real. 
I think your brother comes down and uh, as soon as like he sees that your team has had a chance to reconnect and he floats down and lands and just wraps his arms around you and pulls you into a tight hug. So it'd be like me and the... <laughs> yeah. I guess I could have just like hopped down for yeah, a little bit fine. and like fell into his arms and given him a hug. <laughs> yeah, he, he would have done that before he would have headed off is what I'm saying. Yeah. Well, I'll explain everything when I get the chance. I'm just a little bit. Yeah. Thank you. Couldn't, you couldn't have done it without you. But I'm proud. Thank you. And then I think we see Evie pick up Ada and uh, head to the hospital. Todd and Animus, where are you going? Are you heading back to the base or? Um, probably just to um, like either we're like either the base or they, uh, I guess, yeah. I think um, Animus tells Todd that he'll he'll uh, meet him at the base, uh, but he's gonna swing by. He's gonna go to Jay's building first. Yeah, I understand. We we should probably. It's been a long day. Let's just wait till the morning. Um. I think we're going to do some quick, really brief uh, snippets of stuff as the last few pages of this issue. Um, we see Todd uh, sneaking inside his house. And uh, like we saw a couple issues ago, we hear a little knock at the door and a whisper. Someone's been out all night. <laughs> Yeah, my friends and I, uh, we went out a little longer than expected. Sorry. Uh, your sister's head peeks uh, through the doorway and she uh, says, so, uh, yeah, go ahead. So is it something I'm going to be seeing at, in the papers tomorrow or writing <laughs> maybe? <laughs> Maybe. And uh, just uh, goes in, uh, hugs her. Look, it's been a pretty rough day. So uh, Sinclair again le learned a little about that. I'll, I'll just tell you tomorrow. Okay, just... Only in uh, after our parents head to work, okay? Yeah. Always. Good night. Love you. Then give a little kiss on the cheek. Then just head to freaking bed. I think we see um, Animus uh, head to Jay's place. What do you do when you get there? Um, I think I go up to Veronica's apartment. Spoiler empty. alert. She's not there. <laughs> yeah. Um, I think when he doesn't find her, when he goes in and he doesn't find her, um, I think he sits in his chair and waits. Um, I presume that we just have a quick thing of Evie checking Ada into the hospital. Yeah. Yeah, nothing fancy. Filling out the paperwork for the forms and holding hands with, uh... Yeah, probably. <laughs> yeah. And we see Veronica. Um, 
Veronica opened a portal back to Sinclair's hideout with all of his fellow villains. And with her eyes still dark and it creeping up her hands, she clears her throat. Helios has betrayed all of you. And I don't believe his methods and beliefs were ever in line with yours either. And as she's doing this, she's these sort of cracks of dark lightning begin to form in her hands at her sides. And she says, so I've decided to take up the mantle. There'll be some changes around here. And I'm using, I'm spending my last burn for worship to awe an audience into silence, respect, and attention. Yeah. Go for Are it. Are you absolutely shitting my nuts right now? Oh my god. Um, Young lady. <laughs> calm down. Go um, for it. Yeah, and uh, I can unleash my powers, but it's still, they're still awed by it anyway, but I'll release it, really, unleash anyway. Okay, so yeah, you see, she doesn't unleash them onto anything spe specifically. You just see the power. What? You can burn team selfishly. I, that that move burnt the um the worship works regardless if I unleash my powers. Okay. She's not like trying to hurt anyone with them. She's wanting to put on a show of what she can do. Okay. Um. To show that she now has this. And, um, and sort of standing up and daring someone to question her. No one does. And as you make your way into the small room before the television studio uh, alone, your vision goes white again and you see yourself standing in front of you. Outfit, white, hair, more vibrant than you've seen it as on yourself since you were a kid and your eyes white, glowing with a slight light, uh, golden in color almost. And she says, you, say to yourself. If you want this power like me, you need just do one thing. Come and take it from Helios. <gasps> and then I think we have the pages of credits. And if you flip the very back page of the booklet, you see a computer screen with a dark figure uh, silhouetted by it. And you see dialogue. I would say the experiment was a success. Wouldn't you, Doctor? Yes, we saw much higher potential from Caliban than initially anticipated. The control was an issue, but being able to control yourself was a foreseen side effect. Soon we will have the process refined and we will be ready to move with the next step. In the meantime, it seems that I am replacing one of my lieutenants, the treacherous Helios, with Veronica. The next phase will soon be in place. And as you flip the page, you get a spread of the team on the back cover. 
written by Katie and <laughs> Levi, Rachel, <laughs> Dingo. <laughs> Dingo's like, I want no part in this. <laughs> Dingo's like, I didn't write this. I didn't write shit. <laughs> Ego striker will get you nowhere. <laughs> Holy shit. That's so cool. Uh, like, I know, like, in character, like, it's going to be, like, really <laughs> shitty to deal with. But, like, as somebody, like, if I was watching this, oh, I would be so pumped. I'd be so into it. <laughs> and it seems, it's like, <laughs> it's like, when you think about it, it's like, it makes sense that, like, Veronica would do that if you think past about what she's what she it makes doing. so much sense and I hate it. That's terrible. I love it. <sighs> Come on, it's me. I literally in the last ten minutes told Dave this plan. <laughs> I know. Do you have I this know. plan before this last ten minutes? Nope. <laughs> I was rooting for you. We were all rooting <laughs> for you. I was going to take moment of truth when I leveled up, but I looked at the Nova moves and I was like, uh, yeah, if she takes that yeah. much power from Caliban, she's going to be fucked. I filled my potential and I was going to do the moment of truth thing, but. You can still grab it. Like, it can. Yeah, you can use it at any time. Yeah. I mean, now I know the game. Well, I, yeah. You get me. You'll still have it for next time. Oh, my. Holy shit. Oh, wow. What a good session. What a good finale. God. So good. My heart hurts. I'm mad. <laughs> oh, uh. oh, yeah. Let's uh, let's go around and do outros. Uh, let's start with Levi. Hello. I am Levi Phipps at Levi Phipps 97 on Twitter. Uh, th this is... This was great. I This... This game means a lot to me. And these people mean a lot to me. I'm, I'm glad you guys brought me in. But, uh, yeah, I, d I don't uh, do much in ways of games currently. But this Sunday on twitch.tv slash other doc at 4 Eastern, I'll be playing Dark Streets, a PBTA 70s cop show game. And it looks really fun. I'm looking forward to it. Yeah. Uh um, Rachel. Hi, I'm Rachel. You can find me on Twitter at r underscore omulus. As always, I do multiple streams. Um, I double booked myself. <laughs> so, um, but for now, um, Saturdays, um, on off the table at, uh, 2 p.m. Eastern. No. Yes. Yes. Okay. Um, yeah. Also on Off the Table, next week we're coming back to Urban Shadows. And that's going to be at um, 6 p.m. Pacific Standard Time. Um, I'm just throwing out different time zones because I'm allowed to. And then I'm also here on every other Thursday playing uh, Witch Quest. Uh, that was to cancel this week because I'm going to a hockey game. <laughs> Which is always important. Um yeah, and that's everything that's active right now, I think. Um, but I'm also very scatterbrained. Um, so who knows? Just check my Twitter um, and I will post updates there. Um, Dingo. I'm Dingo. You can find me on Twitter. <laughs> I've always been this. this week. I'm somewhere doing something. I'm so stressed. <laughs> Dave's gonna die. <laughs> Goodbye, man. <laughs> Goodbye. <laughs> <laughs> and there she goes. <laughs> there she goes. Emily, what about you? Hi. Um, I'm Em. Emily. 
Um, I'm sorry. I'm the. Uh, I don't stream anything uh, anymore since this is done. Um, but if you want to follow me, you can follow me at on Twitter at Neckwear with two R's at the end. Um, this game was a lot of fun, and I'm glad that I got the balls to sign up and do it. So, <laughs> yeah. Um, Dave, what about you? Hi, I'm Dave. You can find me on Twitter at CCDASH2224. Uh, you can find me uh, on twitch.tv slash off underscore the table on Tuesday nights starting at 9 p.m. EST, where I'm going to be playing Urban Shadows on Tuesday nights, uh, which is going to be awesome and horribly sad because Rachel and I are sad friends in RPGs. Uh, <laughs> You can also find me uh, this Friday and every other Friday, or every other alternating Friday, rather, uh, on twitch.tv slash off underscore the table, uh, starting at 11 p.m. EST for our late night show of Monster of the Week. If you want even more Monster of the Week action, you can find me less than 12 hours later on twitch.tv slash pro restarter, where I play instead of the monstrous like I do on Friday nights on Off the Table, I play the Divine, because why not be opposites? Um, that, I am in, I'm just, the, what a good session. Thank you so much for running this game, Dave. It was amazing. And, um, thank all of you for playing. And, uh, at, like Dave and, uh, <laughs> Rachel said, next week we'll be going back to Off the Table for, um, Urban Shadows on Tuesdays. But when that is done, we'll be coming back to this for a season two, um, to see what the fuck happens. Because... <laughs> We have all made some mistakes. <laughs> I mean, I haven't. I'm great. Hey, hey, hey. I've never done anything wrong in his life. I got I've two smooches. On his behalf. I got two smooches. I see many in my future. I'm doing great. Yeah, actually, <laughs> Emma's the most set up for success out of all of you. Yeah. I'm doing maybe, great. maybe he's just chilling. <laughs> yeah, I'm just. Um, you can find me on Twitter at Katie Face, everywhere at Katie Face. Um, tomorrow I'll be on Proto Starter's channel playing Deadlands. Thursday will be the premiere of Polaris on Off the Table, finally. And I, I will stop being sick and postponing it. Um, but you can find me everywhere else. Um, through my Twitter, I have a schedule up. And, um, everything that I'm doing is tagged there. Um, but yeah, this was great. I'm so glad we got to play it. I'm fucked. Wow. What a good, 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 good show and a good group of angsty teenage superheroes. <laughs> um, but yeah, everyone have a great night and we will see you next time. Bye.